Hello and welcome to Tech Talk, I'm Jim Reed. For those of you that watched the last race in Kazan, you may have seen Matthias Dolder had quite a hard pylon hit that incurred some damage to his aircraft. Oh, but there it is, gate 12 had a pylon hit from Dolder. The majority of the damage was done to the winglet. The technical development of winglets started way back with Nigel Lamb being the first to put them on a race plane. Since then, the other teams have all gradually come to develop their own version of winglets to try to achieve the same reduction in induced drag during their high G pulls. Many different styles of wingtips and winglets can be seen on the race aircraft these days, leading one to believe that there is no one-size-fits-all solution. Track design plays a large part in which wingtip or winglet should be the best. This is why some of the teams carry multiple styles of wingtips and winglets to each event. No matter which setup a team decides to use, if there is a hard pylon hit, as we saw in Dolder's case, we insist that the aircraft be flown gently back to the race airport. This allows the technical team and the race team mechanic to assess the condition of the race aircraft and verify it is fit to continue racing. Until next time. for watching if you want to subscribe you need to click here and if you want to watch more videos you need to click here